G'day, Carlo Sands. A lot of people said to me, Carlo, why do you always have to talk about all the depressing things in the world in these rants and these in your, in your Carlo's corner? I've taken it all on board and I've decided to make this week's one all about Gaza. Now, a lot of people looking at this situation, you know, anyone who has uh, any belief in human rights or support for equality might at the moment be, I don't know, a, a little bit critical of Israel. You know, seeing as Israel is, after all, carrying out an indiscriminate slaughter of people in the open air prison that it has besieged for years, killing more than 600 people, mostly children, you might find some grounds for criticism. Not if you are the US gay rights publication, The Advocate, which ran a, an op-ed on July 9 by James Duke Mason. On July 9, two days in to Israel's latest campaign of carnage in Gaza that urged gay people all around the world to, and I quote, stand in solidarity with Israel. Why? Because Israel has always stood up for gay rights. Stood up, stood up for gay rights? Does Duke Mason maybe believe there are no gay people in Gaza right now on this very day being blown into smithereens by Israeli rockets? Is it perhaps that Duke Mason struggles to conceive of a Palestinian being gay, maybe because he struggles to conceive of a Palestinian being human? But maybe I'm being unfair on the guy. After all, Israel has one of the most technologically advanced militaries anywhere in the world, thanks to Duke Mason's own government giving them billions of dollars in military aid every year. So maybe their rockets are equipped with groundbreaking, state-of-the-art gaydars that can tell the sexuality of Palestinians before it blows them to smithereens and is sure to only ever kill the straight ones. Which, I mean, if that's true, would have to be one of the most horrible ways imaginable to actually come out. Ah. Being the only survivor of an Israeli airstrike, standing in the rubble of your, your home amidst dead family members saying, oh well, well this is awkward. Uh, there's uh, something, something I've been meaning to tell you all. But Chick Mason, he goes on to say you've got to support Israel because it's been a principled supporter of gay rights in a region that includes countries like Iran, which has the death penalty for homosexuality. Oh, they, they have the death penalty for homosexuality in, in, in Iran. Well, by all means, bomb Gaza. That'll solve the problem. I mean, that's going to be the oddest strategy ever to advocate for the liberation of, of gay people in Iran. What does Duke Mason do? Does he hold demonstrations inside the United States where they all march around chanting, what do we want? Liberation for gay people in Iran. When do we want it? Now. How are we going to get it? Blow up Gaza and babies. How are we going to get it? Kill Palestinian kiddies! Seriously, Duke Mason, fuck you. Fuck you and your pink washing racist apologetics for mass murder. I'm Carlos Sands, that's my corner.